we would look critically at avenues through which we can enhance and encourage savings. This can be done perhaps through some, some kind of tax uh, uh, advantages that can be given uh, to, to those who will be uh, saving more so that you reward, a pro you create a system that will reward those who are investing and saving for the future. This is something that can be done. My government would ensure that we fight corruption and impunity. These two twins are the ones choking our economy, draining the resources we need. When we fight corruption, we not only free resources for services, we increase jobs and let the economy thrive. World Bank estimates that every year we lose 250,000 jobs to corruption. The bribes, the companies, the industry is paying, deny us jobs. That's money that could be invested and which would help them create more jobs. Follow the example of Mexico in terms of having a social safety network so that every Kenyan who is aged above 65 will be able, beginning June, and we have been as explicit as that, to be able to get some stipend. Because a lot of people at that age are really requiring support. You know, the world is so bright. And if you, if you, if you are stupid, the world knows how to exploit you. And make actually, they take advantage of your stupidity. I'm not saying Kenyans are stupid. Kenyans are very bright, but leaders are stupid. I'm very sorry to say this. <laughs> They are wasting our opportunity. They have wasted our 20th century, and they are still warming up to waste our 21st century. That should not be accepted. Who said that every child in Kenya must be an academician? Who said that every child in Kenya must only take one track? There are kids who are very good in sports. Why don't we give them a path for them to develop sports? There are kids who are very good in performing arts and music and, and technical crafts, and then academics, of course. And all of this don't need to have an end point. You can go into technical crafts and then later on join another, the same academic route if you want to go to university. These are reforms that we can achieve through reforming our curriculum. A Safina government would spend two shillings for every shilling that is being spent in tamaking the roads. A Safina government would spend two shillings in damming seasonal rivers. We have seasonal rivers, and if you look at our history, every two or three years, Kenyans are dying in Pokotru, Kana Ukambani, swept away by waters in these seasonal rivers. We have never come up with a comprehensive policy of how we can harvest this water in these seasonal rivers. That would be a priority for a Safina government.